Sarasota Opera opens its final opera of the 2017 winter season this weekend. And in case you think opera is cold and stuffy, the love of the three kings is as hot as a firecracker with all the ingredients of a soap opera. ABC 7's Linda Carson has more. You can see why Three Kings would fall in love with Fiora, sung by Elizabeth Trudet. Still, this is an opera not often performed. It's by a composer who is not very no well known, whose name is Montemezzi. And it is a fantastic piece, rich in orchestral detail, rich in vocal emotion, a beautiful storyline with beautiful music. Ah, uh, the storyline. That's a shocker. It's about Fiora. She's engaged and in love with a prince, and then a conquering king takes over her land and forces her to marry his son. So she decides, however, to continue her love affair with her ex-fiancé on the side even though she is married to Manfredo. The old king, her father-in-law, even though he's blind, is suspicious. The fact that he's blind was a challenge to the stage director, Stephanie Sundin. In order for him to appear blind, I had him blindfolded for most of our rehearsal period. But the blind king figures out that Fiore is cheating. He adores his son and can't bear the fact that his daughter-in-law is being unfaithful, but in addition to that, the old blind king, who is the father-in-law, has his own feelings for his daughter-in-law, which explains the title of the opera, The Love of Three Kings. The old king attacks her. It sadly ends in her death because her blind father-in-law figures out that she's been having an affair with Avito and strangles her to death. And he puts poison on her lips to catch her lover. Because they figure my lover will come in and kiss me when I'm laying there dead. And so uh, Avito comes in, kisses me, and dies. Next, her husband kisses her and dies. And his father comes, thinking he has discovered the predator, as he calls him, the lover. And instead, he discovers his dying son at the foot of the funeral bier. So it's a very tragic opera. <laughs> It's the final opera of the season, so you do not want to miss The Love of Three Kings. It opens Saturday and goes through March 26. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News.